Well, an apartment complex is now vacant months after it was first condemned. Boards are up at the Elmwood Heights Apartments. The city of Buffalo found a host of issues in and out of that building. Hannah Ferreira is on Elmwood Avenue where the last two people moved out today. The Elmwood Heights Apartments are now empty. Permit and inspection services blame this on bad management. To be honest, the owner here is a bad actor. He's, he, he, they're not doing the right thing by the community. They're not doing the right thing by the city, and they haven't shown any interest in doing the right thing. The building's two tenants moved out today after a judge issued an order to vacate last month. We spoke to a resident of the apartment in March who was at a loss for words when asked about his housing plans for the future. I don't know what opportunity I'm going to have, uh, so I'm, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I, you know, I could try to see what I can do. Commissioner of Permit and Inspection Kathy Amder says the apartment's owner has created many problems throughout this process. She says the building owner fired an engineer after being told the building needed to be vacated, then did nothing to fix it. We have an owner who's not doing the right thing, who's, who's not doing the right thing by, by our community, but multiple city departments came together, worked together, and we're able to make sure that this building is secure. So what will happen to this building? There are no plans to tear it down. Amder hopes that after a lot of TLC, it will be up and running once more. That's the goal here, for it to be returned to a, a residential building in the neighborhood. It, it was a thriving residential building at one point, and that's what we want to see again. The building will be fully secured over the next couple of days while still trying to preserve the beauty of the area. Hannah Ferreira, 7 News, Buffalo.